to my wife about something my wife just cleansed the entire table there were breakable plates and breakable cups on top of the kitchen and all that and i was talking to her she just used her hand like this cleared all of them on the ground yes serious clearing cleared all of them on the ground and everything guang, 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 bro. And, all that. and i'm looking i've never seen that type of thing hi everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel please please subscribe for returning subscribers thank you so much remember last two months when pastor jerry as uh, talked about that the wife almost ruined their marriage because of so many things when she broke they had an agreement she broke all the plates when she left him in the mall when different different things like now the woman is Telling her own side of the story. What actually happened? Those periods. <laughs> oh God, marriage is <laughs> good. Okay, just listen to what she has to say. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> I was a very angry person. I could get angry for almost anything easily. You know, hot tempered. That's even the word. Yeah. Hot tempered. You know, so I was hot tempered, and um, and probably because I watched my parents, I I didn't I didn't I didn't really regard people. I didn't know how to give respect to people. So these were things, and I was stubborn. I was very stubborn. Wow. I was stubborn and highly opinionated. Wow, <laughs> that's the combinations. I think. That's serious. Yeah, that's serious. explosive. I'm telling you, highly opinionated. <laughs> so and I loved to argue. Whoa, I could argue. Oh, you can't win me in an argument. <laughs> oh, and I used to argue off point. I don't know if you know I'm off point. Yeah. I give it's not making fact. sense, not but making, you're standing But because there. I am opinionated, yes. so I will stand my ground on whatever mm -hmm. I'm saying. And no matter what you're saying, I can't understand you. I don't even want to understand you, if, except you understand me. Wow. And these were things I grew up with. And because I grew up like that, I didn't even know it was a problem. And my parents wouldn't have pointed it out as a problem because... I got it from them, so we are all alike. <laughs> so it was when I now left and got into the university, I think where I even found out that I actually had the problems when I met my husband, mm. because I didn't know I had a problem. I actually thought I was good. And you know, I love to smile. So I was a smiley kind of person. So it's only when you get to me that you now, you know, you see anger. But if you meet me, you will never know. Oh, yeah. uh, so, yeah. so it was just yeah. beautiful, you know. So I didn't see it as a problem until I met my husband. Mm -hmm. And in our relationship, we went out for five years. We went out for five years before we got married. So it was in that, you know, in our going out, then he, he starts to point out things. And I'm like, what is the problem? As in, I don't see it as a problem. When I was arguing, people used to tell me, you know, people used to hail me. <laughs> For my arguing skills, <laughs> you know, and and they'll be telling me how I have had two people want to sponsor me to read law because I could argue. <laughs> so it was a it was it was a strength. Yes, <laughs> that was what I thought. It was a strength. Mm. So how do I now meet a man and he's telling me that this is not a strength? Yeah. This is this is this is terrible. Yeah. You know, you can't continue that way. So it was a lot to battle with, and not knowing, you know, by the time we got married, this thing started to put a strain in our relationship and it became so bad because the the man i married was such an amazing man he came from a background that was very peaceful he's a very peaceful person till date he is very peaceful he doesn't like problems trouble nothing but me i came from a home that did not know what peace looked like so peace for us was you shout and that's peace. Yeah. When it's not peace is when you start boxing, <laughs> when you start fighting. Eh? <laughs> so if I'm talking, we're like, why are you raising your voice? Why? I'm like, me. I said, there's no problem. We've not, nothing is happening yet. <laughs> you know, so my husband couldn't just understand where I was coming from. And I think another problem I had was that I didn't really have an understanding of what God had put in his life mm -hmm. and who he was and who he was to people. And because everything I did was affecting him, even to ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a ministration you're going to go for. You don't want to have an argument before a ministration. But I didn't even understand all these things at that time. So I can make him so upset before he goes for administration. I think it just too good to help my husband during that period because you have to show up to the people and you have to give to them, yeah. you know, and it's now that I'm doing ministry. It's now that God has, that I now understand the place I put him in 
mm -hmm. you know, those years. Because you 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 need you need you need a, a, a mind that is you know at peace, and you need a free spirit even to receive from God. You don't need offense. You can't you can't you can't receive from the Holy Spirit with offense. So you imagine what I was doing. I think the devil was just using me, you know, at that point. And these things were things that caused a lot of strain to the extent that at some point my husband even you know stopped talking much to me. He'll just be quiet. You, I can say everything I want to say. He'll just be nodding his head. And you're expecting that he shouldn't just nod, but he was just nodding because, because you know, I don't know the next thing I'll say and you flip, you know, you, you go off and, and I won't know how to control you. So, and just to go back to what you said, sir, about, you know, him saying I left him. Do you know, the truth is that angry people, most times, when they do the things they do, they don't even know what they are doing. They don't remember. Wow. They don't remember what they, what they do because they do it in, in anger, in the heat of the moment. It's an emotion that it's uncontrolled. And because you react, you know, based on that emotion, by the time you come back to your senses, by the time you calm down, you forget too many things you did in the heat of that outburst. Wow. So it's the people that you have offended yes. or hurt that are the remember. people that can remember what you did. Yeah. My husband has also reminded me, he, one of the times he spoke, he said he can remember the times I, I, I threw plates out of anger. Do you know I can't remember it? And I tell him, are you sure it's me? I said, it can't be me. <laughs> no, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> me, my me now. Yes. No, it's not me. But you see, but these are things you do yeah. and it keeps, you know, it keeps, it keeps, it keeps, you know, there was something I said in my book and I said that, um, I said something I'm sure you must have read when I said that, you know, um, today, today marriages, what is breaking homes is not even, it's not as much as, you know, those days where you say maybe it's um, infidelity. Yeah. The things that are breaking homes today are these little, little things. They look little, but you see anger, you see, uh, you see whether it's being highly opinion opinionated, disrespect, unforgiveness, you know, assumptions. Yes, you know, assumptions, these yeah. things are eating into homes. Wow. And without you knowing, that's why you hear people say uh, irre irreconcilable uh, differences. differences. Yes. Yes. What are those things that, yeah. you know? And then you, sometimes you ask, you say, what happened? What, yes. What, so I don't even know what happened in our marriage, uh, but we don't want to be married anymore. Again. But they can't pinpoint exactly what it was because it's those little things. Those little that, things. Wow. Those are those little foxes. You yes. know, they are the little foxes. And that's why this book is, is so timely and it's so good we're talking about it today. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But thank God for your husband. He's so patient. Oh, God bless him. Oh. God bless me. He's very patient. He took a lot from me. There were days I would bang the door at him. We'll be talking... <laughs> Are you know this is <laughs> see even you 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 the one you say, ah <laughs> you, you can't even imagine it yeah, because the reason I went ah yeah. was because when we married we were not Christians yes and because I've seen my father the way he dealt with my mom yes I knew she was she grew up in Europe yeah and European ladies have this attitude when yeah. they get angry bang the door so I had to sit down with her mm. and say sis whenever you get angry don't bang the door. <laughs> Just call me into a room quietly yes. so we can talk. Yes. So I said, our children must never yes. see us bang door or shout or fight. Mm -hmm. And we thank God. All these years, it never happened. She just called me in a room. We sit down, we talk. When we finish and everything's okay, we're out back to normal. Mm. I said, so don't bang door. So when you, when you say you bang door, that's why I went, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was it because yeah. maybe we we'll start talking and at some point, I can't take it anymore. It's yeah. it's yeah. probably it's not going the way I want it to. That's, go, that's you know? what it is. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever yeah. wants to happen, let it happen. Yeah. Wow. And I walk out, I bang the door, and he's there. And he will not he won't chase me. He won't come after me. He won't raise his hands. He won't raise his voice. He will just stay there. Even you know what he used to do those days? He would just cry. My husband would cry. Oh. I made him cry. Oh. Serious. I made it's when he starts to cry. And I realize. Okay. It's really bad. It's bad. What you did is bad. <laughs> because when I'm doing these things, I don't even know. Mm. Wow. That, you know, this, I'm going too far. You know, it's like you don't know where the boundary lines yeah. are anymore. Yeah. So it's only when you now see him, then I'm like, okay. Mm. Oh, you've just gone. This is, this, you shouldn't have gone this way. Then I start begging. 
Mm -hmm. Then I start begging. I will need that beg. I will start begging. And my husband always tell me then, I'm not a bulb, you know, a light bulb that you switch on, on and, and off, off at, yes. you know. Yes. And you know this thing that we call mood swings. Yes. So females will use it as hormones, our yeah. hormones, okay. mood swing. Yes. So you, today you feel like smiling, you smile. Tomorrow you don't feel like smiling, you expect everybody to give you your space. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was also another mm. issue, mm. another problem mm. that we had to deal with, yes. you know. And... If there's anything I learned in this journey, I think for me, where my um, where God started helping me from was when I, I think my work with God, when my relationship with God, um, I got more serious with my relationship with God. The more I knew God, the more my my relationship was strengthened in God. The more I became aware of what I was doing that was wrong.